So here are our washer and dryers. I got the Samsung, which I know has like mixed reviews, but I feel like all washing machines have mixed reviews and some people love them, some people hate them, but they are huge. I have some laundry that I have to take out. And then I was washing the our towels, but look how deep it is. And the clothes has been smelling super duper good. So I love them so excited to have them i made this little room for the girls hi girls so they got upgraded cages i don't know if i said that in my last vlog but i got them bigger cages because they don't do nothing in their crates no more so i wanted to give them more space to move in there and then i ordered some wall decals like some little paw prints that i'm gonna put on the walls i have this here which i'm gonna put like baskets and stuff with their toys i found some decor for the room and i also found like a little thing to hang the leashes on so this is gonna be where they sleep at night they're in here because my husband is building the dining set and they would probably be like trying to eat all of the parts and stuff especially you Haley. She needs to get groomed so bad. But yeah, so this is the laundry room. I got some baskets and stuff to put here. So that's what I'm gonna work on today. Yeah, that's one of the things that we got in. So I'm super excited about that. And then I got my Nespresso machine, which I showed you guys the haul of coffee. And I got these cute little jars for my sugar, my coffee, and my flour. Love them so much. So they're perfect to go with the rest of my All right, so here is our new dining table that we decided to get, and it was super affordable. So I'm going to be linking it as well in my description box because it is from Amazon, and I don't even think it was $500, and I think it looks really nice in this space. I have little kids, and I am not ready to spend a bunch of money on a dining table and for one of the kids to spill something or scratch something or break something and then I would have a mini heart attack. So I told myself that whatever furniture I get, it has to be super affordable just so that if something happens, we are like fine with it. So for now, these are the types of things that I like to find because it looks, it looks really, really nice. Like I'm super happy with it. That's exactly what I wanted. And it wasn't expensive. So I put the Target little decor that I made. I think that it goes really nice on the center of the table for now. So I'll find something for here soon. But yeah, and this table comes with a little bench. So I'm gonna let the girls eat here on the bench and then it brings four regular chairs so i've been seeing this style a lot and i thought it was nice for families with little kids so i really really like it so my husband put it together while i was filming today and then i helped him do the actual table so i'm super duper happy with that
Dan's little dog treats. Sit. You gotta sit. <laughs> chicken is for Lola. Salmon is for Haley because she can't have chicken. She's allergic. Good girls. Okay, good girl. Good girl. <laughs> to share what I found at Home Goods because I was supposed to just go in and look you guys and I walked out with half the damn store but I'm gonna show you guys a lot of the stuff that I did pick up is for the doggies room that I'm getting ready but I did find some stuff for the house as well okay so first I found this really cute little holder for my kitchen utensils that I got because I was not a fan of what came with them so I figured this see this it's like yeah much better so this one's gonna go right here I think that would look prettier yeah they definitely fit way cuter in here and I have more space in case I want to add anything. This one was just temporary while I found one. Next up, I got some really cute doggy bowls. I think these were like $5.99 each. This one's for Haley. It definitely fits Haley's vibe. Haley is our schnauzer. So she got two. And these are Lola's bowls, which are my favorite. They're so pretty. And she's our cavalier. So I didn't go so crazy with the whole pumpkin thing because I'm trying to be a little more simple this year. And I do have a lot of decor already, so I don't even remember what I have. For sure, we should have our home goods before Halloween season or fall because the latest they could bring them is September. So, But I did really like this one because it's just simple white and gold i'm not sure where i'm gonna put it yet but it was really really pretty and it was only 9.99 so that was a steal oh my god this you guys tell me this is not gorgeous for my little tees and this one was 7.99 oh my husband picked this out super cute it's really nice to put as decor on the kitchen but then also to put like little cheese and all that on top we're gonna add that to the kitchen I got some kitchen towels for now. Just I'm loving like the whole neutral vibes. I do like to add pops of color usually like around summer and spring, but for fall, I know I'm gonna add touches of orange and brown, but I like to kind of have like a base of just neutral colors that I can leave year round. So I got those. I also got these placemats for the table because I'm just scared with the girls. The girls are a little wild. So I would rather have something there in case they dirty it. I could just stick it in the washer. We got the doggies some toys, some Halloween toys. This was like the not planned, but the treat of the day. I found this for my makeup because I was searching for them all over Amazon and they were just like I don't know they didn't look deep enough or like strong enough. I feel like this one is great. It has four small drawers and then one really deep one which I think would be great for like foundations and stuff. I got this to rest the spoons when I'm cooking because I cannot stand putting stuff on the counter. So that was $6.99. Found this on sale for $12. This is like to put my makeup brushes. Really cute. And then for the doggy room, I got these two baskets. And I got one gray on purpose because it kind of matches with this. I'm trying to keep it the same for the dog's room. So um, this one's gonna be for their toys. And then this one is gonna be to put like their brushes, their shampoos and things like that. So I'm gonna put that in the closet. And then I got a few more things on Amazon as well for the dog room. So I'm gonna go put these to see how they fit. I changed up one of the shelves. I don't know if to put, I think I'm gonna put the toys here. And then I was able to take out one of the shelves so that I can put their dog 
food containers. So up here is just gonna be like extra stuff like paper towels and extra laundry detergent and stuff. But I do wanna make one of these rolls just for the dogs. So that's where I'm gonna put the other basket. Hi guys, so welcome to another vlog. I don't even know at what point I'm going to like stick this in the vlog because the clip that was supposed to open up the vlog got deleted by accident. So I am not even sure like where this is gonna fit in the vlog, but somehow I'll make it work. But the clip that got deleted was pretty much just giving you guys like an update on how life was going because life has just kind of been like a roller coaster big time. It's been a lot of highs and then there's been some lows. About a week ago, my grandpa passed away from cancer and he had been battling cancer for, I would say two years, probably more without knowing. But like the last two years was when it started getting really like noticeable and of course we all had hope you know we all prayed but it still is a very hard thing to accept you know when you get that news i went to go spend time with him in chicago because at first he was in puerto rico and i'm not even gonna get into the healthcare over there that's a whole other like subject but things were just not getting done as fast as they could have been done the answers were taking a little too long over there you know what i mean like it wasn't they weren't getting to the point of what was wrong my uncle then took him to chicago and there i mean all of the studies were done real fast and we finally found out that it was cancer but when we found out it was like very very aggressive and it just pretty much took over his whole body so even though he tried he fought real hard he fought and he made us laugh all the way to the end and that's one of the reasons why if you follow me on instagram i went like on a very unexpected trip to Chicago, I was there for two days and I spent time with him and the memories that I have of the last time that I saw him are beautiful memories because, you know, he was still laughing, he was still, um, he was still him. So my plans were once we picked up my van to drive to Chicago to see him, but then things just started getting like worse and worse and worse it's just it's, it's been hard and keeping myself busy has helped a lot when he was a big part of like childhood and he helped my mom so much when my mom got a divorce when i was little we moved to chicago because they were there so that my mom would have family and they were a big support system to my mom so my grandparents were the ones that were there to take care of me um whenever my mom had to rush to work or something um so it's just life is just full of ups and downs and it's just like it kind of brings you down sometimes because you're grateful for the blessings you're grateful for all the good things and then things like this just come and kind of just like just give you like a punch to your stomach pretty much like when i got the news it was like you know it's just it's a bad feeling deep down i'm grateful that he's not hurting that he's not suffering no more so that's what i have to keep thinking to keep myself like in good spirits is that he has no pain now and he's free and he's watching over us. So our family has gained the beautiful, beautiful angel. The clip that got deleted, I also showed you guys like the updates on the beauty room. So I'm kind of like, I have a space, like I actually have a room where, I used to have a room in Puerto Rico, but I didn't have it set up like an office. I'm kind of making this like an office slash beauty room. So I am, having my i'm about to start editing but i am having my little midday this is pretty much what i've been eating for lunch lately i've been making a lot of changes to my diet since i got here and i'm already noticing a good difference so that's good but this is cantaloupe my favorite fruit with cottage cheese i know some people would be like ew nasty <laughs> to me it's so so good and then i have my water here with chlorophyll which i just started drinking this is like day four don't mind this mess <laughs> but here are the shelves that i put up from target they're still messy like i'm still finding little things to organize it so this is from target found it at target so i'm just putting like my makeup temporarily here until the rest of my stuff comes i found this at home goods i put all of my brushes in there i just ordered 
a vanity to go there because I just couldn't wait. I'm gonna give my vanity to my daughter, I think, with the mirror because she wants to have her own vanity. So I'm gonna give that one to her. I'm putting a vanity here. I put this desk here, which is just like the desk that I'm using to film, to just use pretty much as a desk. It's easy to move around the room. This space here is where my dresser is gonna go, the one that I used to put like my perfume tray on top of. And then here's the other shelf. So I have another, I found this at Home Goods. I found that at Home Goods yesterday. I have my perfume tray here and some body care. So yeah, that's pretty much like the update on the beauty room. I think that's going to be it as well. Like, I don't know where this is going to fit in the vlog, if it's gonna be towards the beginning or the end, but I wanted to thank you guys so, so much for all of the comments in my last vlog. You guys are the sweetest. You guys don't understand just how grateful I am for you guys and how sweet and kind you guys are. I did not expect to get so many people interested in like home updates and things like that because I love that. That's like another passion of mine, but I wanted to keep my channel like focused around fragrance and those things but once in a while if you guys are down for it i love to share like organization decor so i just wanted to say thank you because i had to go back to that video a few times because i wanted to make sure that i answered as many comments as i could i didn't want anyone to feel like their comment didn't get read i try to read so many comments um it is getting harder and harder the more the channel grows obviously because i'm one person but i try to take at least 30 minutes every day to sit down read comments reply so if you see that sometimes maybe a day might go by it's just because it's been crazy lately but i will always sit down and try to comment as much as i can so thank you so much i appreciate all of the support and with that said since i'm so lost in this vlog I don't know if you're either gonna keep on watching or if this is gonna be the end, but just wanted to tell you guys thank you and I will see you guys in the next one. Joanny's lost her first tooth ever. No. Oh. Yep. Put it in there? Close it. You're gonna pull the two little strings. Yep. There you go. Hang it in your door.